His Excellency the President Yuri Kaguta Museveni has extended the deadline to 20th October 2023 and this is to allow him to read the reports which he has received since the last uh, 30 uh, or so days so that he can internalize it and make a decision. So the implementation team is now working. I have a team here in the office working with me now, planning on the execution. That will involve the following activities in the meantime. First, registration and verification of all migrant cattle keepers in northern Uganda. And we shall look at their location, their families, the number of cattle. Two, movement plans for those to be evicted, including designating holding areas so as to curb disease outbreak. Then three, legal implications on case-by-case -case basis. This could raise, uh, uh, um, raise uh, some legal court cases maybe. We therefore appeal for calm. No one should take the laws in their hands. The government through its structures is in charge of this implementation and it will ensure that it is done in a sustainable, efficient, effective, peaceful and harmonious way. And I would like to inform everyone that this exercise is codenamed Operation Harmony. But you must know that we are facing a lot of difficulties now in our China sub-region on the issue of the Balaro. I have been reliably informed that it has been changed to cattle keeper, migrants, is that we are going to go on the ground to our people in the different places in Achone region to make sure that we give them the feedback of what has been going on, especially in the verification, after verification, and then the report of which, from what happened yesterday, there has been a lot of changes from the original report that I participated on myself. That is the right of the president because it's the one who released the executive order number three, 2023. But at the same time, as members of parliament from Acholi sub-region, we are not excited because we are getting a lot of pressure from our voters, the problems they are going through. As Acholi parliamentary group are saying, the Balanus should go, all of them, if they have to negotiate their comeback, they should negotiate their comeback later on. The Balanos will not go in a confusion because the first directive which the president issued was handled by the RDCs. The Balanos moved without any commotion. I know even when we reach the 20th of October, they will ask for another extension. This one means they have failed totally to implement the executive order. 